It's another beautiful day here in Salmon Arm. Yeah, I got up bright and early. I'm here at the local radio station, actually. I gave them a little message just because uh, my aunt and uncle who I'm staying with here know the radio guy who does the morning show. So I just sent a note in, see if you would promote our show. We'll see. Doesn't have to if he doesn't want to, but always worth a shot. And uh, now it's time to go back to uh, their house, get our stuff together, and head on out to our show at the Blue Canoe at noon. And then we're doing a little house concert back at home. It'll be great. Another long day on the road. Here at my aunt and uncle's house here in Salmon Arm, I am staying in the greatest room ever. It's my uncle's room full of stuff he's collected over the years. Lots of Pulp Fiction and old school novels. Really cool stuff everywhere. Really cool. I love seeing other people's collections of stuff. Got a bunch of toy cars here. Vintage toys and board games and such. Old uh, pop bottles back in there. There is just so much cool stuff in here. Every time I turn my head, I see something else cool I didn't realize was in here. Old magazines down here, too. Really cool. It's been like 20 years since I could hold my head up high. And then I'm gonna tell you that it doesn't hurt, but I'm still longing for one day beside you, dear. You're my one and only, and I can't live one day without you. Twice as long, girl, since I told you I was blind I swear I'd see you clearly if you took off your disguise Without you every day it hurts so much Girl, you know I'm so lonely that I can't last one day without your touch Cars 
stop. That's so much. Oh wow, it keeps coming. <laughs> Vini showed me the coolest thing. He's not in there right now. But you see this little hole? Wasps have been using that to get in and out of this parking meter. And they've made a nest inside the glass Yay. of this parking meter. It's crawled in. It's pretty cute. Not a bad spot for a nest, but it can't expand it too much. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm going to back it's up so a, none of them sting me. Well, I don't. There's none right now, but I feel like... Yeah, there's just one in there, but he doesn't really have a long-term no. plan, I guess. But, yeah, I've never seen anything quite like that. Neat. Lini has entrusted me with her beautiful guitar, gorgeous, to restring it. I actually kind of enjoy restringing gu guitars, which is weird because I absolutely hated it until a couple of months ago when I started to get actually kind of good at it. Doing a little house concert here where we're staying in Salmon Arm tonight. Can't wait. Oh, no. Cloud? It's, it, the, the wind's picking up. You can just tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worried, worried about that cloud there. So I write, part of my livings is uh, custom songs. Come join the party. She's <laughs> flocking in. Coming from all over. Hey, hey, hey. So I write custom, <laughs> I write custom songs. And uh, so like, if you want to walk down the aisle to your own love story or wedding anniversaries, that sort of thing. And um, I got hired to do one piece, and I love uh, brides and grooms with really good senses of humor. And thankfully, they had really good senses of humor. <laughs> uh, I got hired by the best friend to write, write a song called Cougar Queen. She's about you know eleven years eleven years older than the groom, you know, give or take. And uh, yeah, so I always send this one out to Bevan Walter. Love Susie, her best friend. <laughs> This is their love story. Thank God that unpaid barbs have just way too much to drink. Cause happily ever after doesn't always start with sober. Proofs and Bev and Walter, I think. Cause Bev's his cougar queen, his everything. And he's her Mr. Fix It. Don't get it twisted, they're taking cradle to grave to a whole new meaning. They are root of finding the soul. Love thing. And he asked her seven times to marry him. She said, Sober and it looks like he did. They say, Happy wife, happy life, and I feel like Susie would agree with me. That's the best friend. <laughs> just when you get a bed, you don't just get a bed, you get a Susie too. Oh, and that makes Babs is cougar queen, is everything. And he's our Mr. Fix It. Don't get it twisted, they're taking cradle to grave to a whole new meaning. They are root of finding their soul, love, thing. And he asked her seven times to marry him. She said, Ask me sober, brand it looks like he did. Oh, he did. Now, Bev, I heard that for eight years before you met him, you didn't have a working light in your bedroom. And I think you were unknowingly just waiting for your Mr. Fix It to get old enough to change it. Cause Bev's his cougar queen, his everything. He's a Mr. Fix It. Don't get it twisted to take it Cradle to grave to a whole new meaning They are root of finding the soul Love me Asked her seven times to marry him She said, ask me so well And it looks like he did So he Dreaming. Woo! All right. 
Graham is up next. Still no rain. I think you can have one more. Hold go, on. go, go. <laughs> then we'll, we'll run inside as fast as possible. <laughs> this is, uh, thanks, oh, by the way, everyone, for coming over. It really means a lot to both of us. We didn't have this planned when we came over to Saturday. <laughs> but I'm thrilled to do it. So much fun. You did such a good job. Thank you. There'll be no bill in the morning for two nights accommodation and meals. How about that? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. Uh, that is right there. Make okay, go right now then. Nope, go. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs>